Hello, yo, yo, what's up, what's up? Hello guys, hello guys, welcome to my channel. Shout out sa mga boss ko. And salamat, salamat guys sa, salamat sa mga subscribers, salamat sa mga nanonood, salamat sa mga full support. Ha. Thank you very much guys. Maraming salamat talaga. Lalong lalo na, shout out kay Sir, Sir Kati, no, kay Ma'am, Ma'am Kati. Pasensya na po. So shout out nga pala kay Ma'am Kati Flores, lalong lalo na kay Ma'am Kenneth, Kenneth Abliana. Shoutout kay Ma'am Kenneth Abliana. Shoutout pala kay Engineer. Engineer Nino Rodel Lalik. Salamat sa ito tol. Sa support ha. Sa ginawa mo. Ang galing. Ang galing ng... Ang galing ng... Ang site mo. Ang galing. Ang galing. So, salamat din kay ano. Thank you for... Kay Ma'am Meg. Meg Kalunod. Tapos yung hindi ko makakalimutan. Si Nelvin Kagas. Salamat sa ipre. Salamat sa... Nakapasok ako sa... Sa mga group mo. Ayan, salamat sa iyo. Tapos kay... Kay Proxima. Kay Proxima Centauri. Salamat. Salamat din sa iyo. Tapos shout out kay Sam Cruz. Sam Cruz. Ang galing. Taga siya. Taga. Tapos salamat huling huli. Lalo na kay Boss. Boss Virgil. Virgil Gibara. Salamat sa inyong lahat guys. Salamat. Salamat. Nakapasok pa rin ako sa... Sa group ko. Salamat sa inyo guys. So, ngayon, meron akong tuturo na kumbaga parang secret or parang tips yung tutorial na ang tagal ang tagal kong hinanap I find eh, mas magandang siguro English kasi karamihan na our international language natin is English so mas maganda English version na lang okay guys so uh, first uh, this tutorial is for numbering of uh, like tickets of uh, checks how to uh, put a number in very easy way mga pala uh, mayroong pahabol yung mga pahabol na nagpa-shout out si si Heather si si ano si Mie Kanyeda Batalunya yan si Mie Kanyeda Batalunya yan ang daming inyo ang daming mong inyo <laughs> si Mie Kanyeda Batalunya yan shout out sa'yo tapos shout out din kay sino ba to saka shout out din kay Instawell Channel si Instawell Channel is uh, Unico si Unico Uhey Uhey mag magdaong Santiago Uhey nauuhoy ako Uhey na Uhey <laughs> syempre shout out shout out salamat salamat guys so yun guys o nga pala hindi pala hindi pala shout out ay hindi pala ano nang shout out to bali bali tutorial po ito <laughs> bali tutorial po ito Mag, ituturo ko yung ano Tuturo ko yung, yung sa uh, numbering, mga numbering tutorials. Yung, kasi mahirap yun eh. Mahirap hanapin yung numbering tutorials. So, okay guys. Sisimulan ko na. Yo, what's up? What's up, what's up mga kawaiti? It's me again, Spice Texture. Do you know what kind of software that can help you create on how to insert a numbering on your ticket or invoice or checks? Uh, I will show you a sample on how to create a numbering. First software, you can use uh, Photoshop and then insert. You can use Photoshop and then open your design here, then insert text and then uh, invoice. Uh, so you have to insert invoice number, so example over here. So like uh, 001 and then OK and then so here. So this is the invoice number. So we're doing the manual processing for the invoice. Okay, so this is the manual. You put the invoice number and then save and then you, you create and then you save your numbering. Uh, save. Let's name it save. Okay, so this is uh, invoice number one and then I name it uh, one here. Okay, save. Okay, and then change again into number two. So insert again number two and then save. You can just save this or you can just uh, print directly. So every time you change the number, save it. Okay, so this is only sample. Okay, but uh, on this sample, uh, you can do it as long as uh, uh, you can. So like if you have to or if you want to use this uh, Photoshop for your invoices, you should have a lot of patience on this uh, software. So you have to do this all the way any numbers you want 
want any numbers you need so it's very busy too much process then another software is uh, you, you can use adobe indesign or you can use uh, illustrator or even microsoft word or even a publisher or excel all of those uh, programs are manually operated so you you should have more 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 patience to use this program on this tutorial i will show you which program i will use i already have this but uh, i don't use every time do you know what kind of program uh, i'm using for the numbering of invoices checks or tickets and it's uh, no other than it's a corel draw uh, okay guys let's start i have a corel draw 5 uh, x5 x7 and uh, x8 but uh, all of these are fine you can use you or you can uh, create vector here you can uh, type things or any kind of uh, vectors and uh, and uh, numberings okay first uh, open the program of course open the program and make sure you have the jpeg format ready like uh, this uh, sample format i prepared already in uh, photoshop so i, I edit uh, this uh, format of uh, invoice in uh, photoshop so first you, you have to open the program and then you have to open the new paper so here new documents here okay and then usually i use uh, uh, rgb and uh, it's a letter size so open a new paper depend uh, the paper is uh, depends on uh, what you have or depends on uh, what paper you like so usually it's a ha uh, half size form this compact uh, roughly 8.5 by 5.5 form or uh, half the size of a standard form and are useful when less information is needed for me i always Please use a letter size so here so this is the letter size then after new paper next is import the file with the jpeg or png format or it depends on you okay, okay so already opened the the paper and then next we import you, you can go here like uh, import here or control i so just click this one or press control plus i or uh, you can just drag you go to your uh, go to your folder then uh, go to the file the numbering and then drag like this so once you, you import the paper and then you, you bring this to the center like uh, this one or you just click the line here the object here center and then this one is to here center horizontal and center vertically so now it's already in the center so the invoice that i want to open or the invoice number that i want to put is over here so instead of uh, manually put uh, like one two three four invoice number it's a uh, that's very hard so first step uh, go to uh, file and then we're, we're creating the, the numbering now the automated uh, numbering so here and then print merge and then create load uh, create or load print merge okay and then here we create a new or we import so for now we create new because we don't have yet uh, save uh, ob uh, odbc data source okay so we just uh, click create and then next and then text field so for me i just ignore text field i just put numbering so like this numbering uh, numeric field here numeric field are usually uh, in one part of invoice is uh, 50 page so let's put uh, one here up to 50 okay one up to 50 and then add click add here okay so now already here in the field name and then uh, on the field name you can see that this uh, already add then click the 01 or click the 1 to 50 on the field name to enable the numeric uh, format so here's the numeric uh, format so just to enable this one click the field name first then change format into 0x here 0x because our invoice number is uh, two digits uh, 0x so you can see starting value is enable but the ending value is unenable unable to click so just simply uncheck the continuous increment the numeric field here the uh, continually increment numeric field to enable this uh, ending value then now you're able to edit them so you start uh, one our, our name here our name here just follow this one so you start one and then ending value is 50 okay and then 50 and then next so now already set here in this area so it's already set and then click uh, click next so now this one so it's already 1 to 50 and then there's no change over here so just click next and then so it, here it's up to you if you want to save but for me i always uh, don't save because uh, every time i create i always put new one new number so uh, for me i don't need so i uh, just click finish as you can see print merge 
uh, button appear on the menu uh, in the here this is the menu so this is the print merge menu then now you can click the numeric name on the field so here this, this is the field so this is the numeric field this is the one that we create then click insert print per, uh, insert print merge field so here so click this one so once once you insert this you can put uh, this number on the numbering area that you like so the numbering area here on this part so just put here and then uh, size them into what size you like and then if you want to change the color uh, on the here on the right side there's a color here so you just put the red or usually it's red the usual number is red or blue if you like uh, but uh, we just use a usual number so it's red okay so now that's it that's the the numbering on the invoices so you, you can see this one so once you click the and then uh, file pre, uh, click file and then print or control plus p okay just, just click that one and then perform print merge okay you know it's loading and then uh, you, you click this uh, uh, this one this two arrow here like this is the, the print merge area okay so you can see uh, how many number you already created if uh, it's correct already or still need to edit so let's wait here to appear in this area uh, what what's the numbering looks like okay so if uh, not uh, cannot appear here so you just, just click uh, print preview here so click the print preview also oh, okay here so now it's good so the numbering is there invoice number and then you can go next here so click next so that's the number two and then this is the number three okay so double check everything just uh, click these numbers here so two of four and then over here so everything is it's uh, in order now so just count if if a uh, 50 page is correct so i think it's all correct now and then okay so you already check uh, all the numbers and then it's already good and it's good to uh, print but uh, there's uh, some some cut uh, area so when you go to print pre preview this uh, part so don't worry about this one so this is uh, this the bleed the bleeding of the picture or I mean the invoice is uh, cut so the bleeding is being cut so you can adjust the printing to go to print merge again and then uh, and then so once you go here you can go to layout layout here and then uh, fit to page just click this uh, fit page and then it will fit automatically on the page so there's no more bleeding so when you go to print preview again okay and then there you go all the, the pages it's uh, inside of the invoices so it's everything okay now and then when you go next okay so uh, this is the the single uh, numbering only so how about if uh, multiple or, or uh, multiple uh, uh, page numbering on uh, tickets or on uh, checks so uh, let's uh, so I teach you also the the multi numbering and then we create a new paper again so new and then here new paper and then uh, same uh, same letter or same uh, paper size I use a uh, letter size again okay and then uh, uh, file or, or uh, import so here file or imp uh, file import or uh, control I you, you want to import the paper or the checks or tickets so I have already prepared also here so this uh, or certificate give certificate so you just drag on the uh, URL draw so here so I have already prepared here and then put in the center again so click the align object to center page edge and then align them horizontal and vertical so now it's already in the center okay guys it's a sim same procedure again so let's make it uh, example uh, the number is uh, up to or the gift certificate is uh, up to 1000 uh, number so how do you do that so instead of uh, uh, putting the number manually so that's very hard to put the number manually so like one two three up to one thousand uh, that's very hard that's insane so since uh, same procedure guys so go to file and then uh, print merge and then create or load print merge again and then create new text okay, and the numeric field again and then here's the procedure my technique on uh, putting the number is uh, I divide uh, the total number into to uh, how many page in one paper so let's cancel first so in in this uh, sample I have a certificate one two three four five so I have five certificate and then the total order I make is 1000 so let's make it 1000 divide 5 so meaning each uh, page here or its uh, numbers it's supposed to be 200 okay you get me so press file and then print merge again and then create new text and then numbering so every uh, 
uh, gift certificate have uh, uh, 200 pieces each so 200 200 200 200, 200 to become 1000 okay so i am uh, i name it the numeric field is a uh, 1 to uh, 1 to 200 and then add and then here is a uh, 201 to 400 and then add and then 401 to 600 and then add and then 601 to 800 then add then 801 to 1000 and then add and then now it, it's same procedure on the uh, invoice uh, numbering so just click this one name and then because now it's uh, four digits so it's four digits so the, the maximum number is a uh, four digits 1000 so we changed the uh, field name into like one and then four digits so this one three zero plus the x so that's four okay so just click that one and then uncheck the continually increment the numeric field okay and then just follow the name so so if you want uh, you want uh, Confuse on the numbering so just follow the name so one here and then the ending value is 200 okay and then next is uh, this one and then change again under the numeric format change and then uncheck it okay. you change them all the way to 1000 same procedure eh? same procedure okay just click again numeric and then 401 and then 600 and then 601 so six uh, 601 no no Zero one two eight hundred. Okay, and then now the last one is same number four, and then here eight o one, and then one thousand. Okay, that's it, and then click next. Double check everything here. Everything okay, okay, and then up to two hundred. So I think this one. So up to two hundred times uh, five, so equivalent to one thousand. So everything's here. So two hundred here, and then four hundred, six hundred, eight hundred, and then one thousand. So and everything okay, and then now we're good good to go for distributing the number so here's the trick so click the number because uh, you cannot make the print merge into like uh, uh, one two three four five all the way because once you cut so example is over here already one two three four five or or the numbering is a uh, one two three four five so you just put the number like separately but when you cut them when you cut them one time and then you you put them all together uh, the number is uh, uh, shuffle the number will be shuffle so my technique is uh, we I divide them and then like this so click the 1 to 200 and then insert place them over here and then number 2 is 200 and then insert again and then place them to the second and then number 3 same same procedure and then second oops control Z okay then click and then all the way then number 4 insert and then all the way and then number 8 insert insert and then all the way okay so the, the number is uh, not fit on the box so don't worry so we can make it so and then we align them first so like you highlight them and then once you highlight you bring this back into active objects and then you align them you can use this one only only the horizontal just click to make them uh, align okay and then you can use the distribute alignment here so to make them even the spacing is even okay but uh, the problem is the numbering the numbering doesn't fit on the box so we have to reduce the sizes over here in this part so it's 24 so we make it uh, maybe 20 let's see okay 20 is still big maybe we make it uh, 15 there you go i think 15 is okay i think the alignment need to be like this okay so there you go and then now it's good numbering it's good and then if you want to change the color same procedure also in the right side click the red okay so now it's more highlight and then you can check the numbering so like this so everything okay now so the numbering here okay so they are well distributed already okay and then let's see on the print merge so file and then print merge or print control p just click and then perform print merge okay so ayun ayun yung okay okay so there you go there's the number here so 001 all the way to 200 and then 0201 all the way to 400 and then 0401 all the way to 600 and then 601 all the way to 800 and uh, 801 all the way to 1000 so uh, you you check here in this in this area so 1 to 200 so meaning there's a 200 pages and then th this is the their initial numbers so everything is okay now it's good to print it's good to print now so ready to print okay okay guys i think uh, that's it that's it for today uh thank you guys for watching this uh, tutorial uh please please uh, hit subscribe button and then bells to to keep you update on my newest uh, vlog my newest tutorials or if you have any tutorial that uh if you have any request for tutorial maybe i can help i can do i can do it for you i can help you okay so that's it for today's guys thank you thank you very much guys